Hey guys, it's Regant here and today I'm going to show you how to build this full automatic glow squid farm. The farm is super effective and very very simple to build, so yeah, have fun. But first the materialist and you already see you don't need many items, it's very cheap to build. And with the axolotls you can start with just one uh, or you can use up to 10, I wouldn't recommend to use more. And the iron door and the buttons you just need if you want to be safe at your AFK spot, I would recommend it especially on a hardcore world like I do in the video. We start by digging down at least to Y22 because the glow squid st uh, start spawning from Y30 and below and the farm is around 8 blocks high. In your position I would go a little bit deeper just in case something goes wrong. Downwards you can go as deep as you want even towards bedrock. Here in my hardcore world I started building at Y11 so the farm is below my storage system. Now choose a block which will be the middle of the farm. If you got one you have to go out for 8 blocks in every direction and also 7 blocks high. Dig out everything so you will have in total a room that goes got the dimensions 17 by 17 by 7. After that you start building an infinite water source because you will need much water now. Take your water and fill two full walls with it. The ground should fill up with water source block automatically after you're done with it. Repeat this step three times so you will have in total four blocks high water source blocks and three blocks space to the roof. After the water we start building temporary blocks on one wall. Build a row on the whole wall and go out for seven more blocks. Fill out the area and repeat this step for the other side. Now you should have a one block wide gap between the platforms. Go now to the outer walls and place a row of water. Repeat this for the wall on the opposite side and remove the temporary blocks. Then you have to place water where the temporary blocks were, like I do in the video. But be careful that you place it in the correct row and also don't place them in the middle. If you make a mistake at this step, you have to start again with the part of the temporary blocks. Now go into the middle and leave one block space between the surface and start placing a row of hopper leading into the wall. Then put slabs on top of the hoppers and place building blocks on all the other sides, so the left, the right and below the hoppers. Go to the side the hoppers leading towards and start digging out so you will find the spot where the hoppers ends. Now place a double chest in front of the hopper but leave a one block gap between them and place a hopper at this spot. Then you go to the chest and start counting 30 blocks outwards. Very important here is that the chest already counts for 2 blocks, so just stick out 28 blocks behind the chest. The end of this small tunnel is your AFK spot. If you want you can also put down the iron door here and also 2 buttons so you can open and close the door. I would recommend it for hardcore walls. Now don't forget closing the entrance, you were going in and out of the farm and if you place some torches inside of the farm also remove them. Now we have to get at least one axolotl that you can put into the farm. You can also start with one axolotl and put more into it if you find or breed more of them. 5 to 7 should be enough but you can also put in more. For example in my farm I put in 10 axolotls. I think there, if there are some more axolotls they can, will be faster at the close bits and kill them faster. But you can also put in less axolotls. The farm now works very simple. The axolotls killing the glow squids and the insects will end up in the hoppers because of the water flow. It can happen that some insects get stuck below the hoppers but you can't do anything against it. If you have an idea how to fix this problem you can write into the comments. To increase the efficiency of the farm you can also remove all water sources in a 128 blocks radius below Y30 around your AFK spot. This is because then no glow squids can spawn around your farm and all of them will spawn inside your farm. But very important is just the 32 block radius around your farm because the glow squids spawning further away will automatically despawn after some time. The glow squids spawning in the 32 block radius won't despawn if they spawn there so in total they can't spawn as many glow squids as there possibly could spawn inside of your farm. 
Now we will let the farm run for about an hour and we will see how many glow insects we will get. After one hour you can see we got around 500 glow insects and you also see it's super efficient and very simple to build so I can just recommend it building it. It takes about 20 minutes, uh, you just need some hoppers and that's it. So this is already the end of the video. If you like the farm make sure to leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions left or a problem or something just ask in the comments or just join my discord so I can help you directly. Bye!